everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and I am a beautiful mess. Here I approach makeup from the viewpoint of the novice because I have no idea what I'm doing. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. It really helps me out and it lets YouTube know that other people with the same interests as you would really appreciate my content. Today I'm really excited because we are going to be trying out some new to me makeup. A lot of this stuff I got from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and I just, there was so much of it that I just, I needed to try it. Some of it I have tried already, I will have to say that. Some of it I have saved for first impressions for you guys. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with the eyes today because this I have picked up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Now, Lorac, aka Carol, as per Teresa is Dead's channel, uh, if you don't realize, Lorac spelled backwards is Carol. <laughs> um, Lorac palettes hold a very special place in my heart. First real luxury makeup that was ever given to me as a present was by my daughter and it was a little Lorac mini palette. So when I saw this was half off, definitely wanted to pick this up. So we're gonna be trying this out today on the eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is the Lorac Marakai. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or if it's Meraki. We're gonna go with Marakai and I'm really excited. This is the first time I've ever had something like this. In here you get a card that has all the shades on it. And then also inside the box you get a key. And I was like, what is this key for? And the key is for if you run out of any of the shadows, you can actually pop it out and buy a single and refill the palette again. So this is the palette that never ends. I'm gonna insert here a clip of all the swatches. I'm not gonna take the time to do the swatching like I normally do for you guys. And we're just gonna get right into this. I had received an Ulta eyeshadow primer as part of a gift set uh, a couple months ago. And something I really did not like, it made me feel like my lids were creasing with it. So this was also on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the Anti-Aging Formula. And I've tried this once and I actually really like it compared to the Ulta product. It comes with a doe foot applicator, which the Ulta product doesn't have, and I really do appreciate that because it goes on a little bit like concealer. So I'm gonna just dot this on my eyes, and we're gonna blend that out, like so. While that's drying, I'll read to you the description that's on the back of the palette. So the concept of Marikai is the act of doing something with soul, creativity, love, and devotion. From the time Lorac was founded in 1995, this is how we have approached makeup artistry. On the occasion of our 25th anniversary, we are proud to share our first ever artist edition palette, curated with a selection of 25 of Lorac's most loved shades by artists around the world. From neutral browns to glistening golds and soft mobs, these artist essentials are the building blocks for creating infinite looks on infinite skin tones. Create a dazzling diamond-like effect with the ultra glittery shimmers, build dimension with foiled metallics, or add depth with buttery mattes. These super pigmented shadows have been formulated to blend effortlessly onto the lid and last without creasing. Paint like a pro, artist edition, fragrance free and gluten free. So like I said, I have tried Lorac shadows before and I do, I really do really much like them. There are a lot of different things in here. This is yes, a basic bitch palette for sure, but it is a pretty basic bitch palette. And for fall, I'm really excited by all the browns, the golds. It's just, mm, I, I'm being a basic bitch today. I'm being a Carol. For once, I'm filming on a day where I am not going to work so we can be bold. And I just have to figure out, am I feeling gold bold 
or pink shimmery bold. I think we're feeling mauve glittery today, so that's the look we're gonna go for. So I'm gonna start by putting this shade in my crease. This shade is actually called mauve. So going into it, these shadows are a little bit powdery. They are pigmented and I absolutely love them. I already know the formula from trying them out from that one palette. And I think one of my favorite colors in that palette, it came with eight shades. And the mauve was one of those shades. So this is one of my loves. So a little bit of kick up in the pan. I'm hoping there's not a lot of fallout, but that is why we're doing our eyes first. I know the other palette I have, it's all mattes and there's not a lot of fallout with the mattes. I'm just wondering about the glitters. All right, that's looking pretty good for a crease shade. Next, we're gonna go into the one right next to it called Dusty Plum. We're gonna just deepen that crease shade. Same brush, just to deepen it. All right, then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and we're gonna just blend that out like that. So the two shades that are really speaking to me that I really wanna put on the lid are these guys right here. This one is called Rose Quartz and this one is called Cocoa. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eyelid and then I'm gonna put this on the inner part and we'll see what we get. All right, so I'm gonna take a flat top brush and I'm gonna go into that cocoa shade right here. I'm gonna put that on the outer portion of my eye. I'm gonna put some on my brush and then I'm gonna spray it. I'm not going in with my finger just because it's, my finger is bigger than my brushes. And I want this to be a little bit more of a precise application. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Not as glittery as I thought it was going to be though. Just creating a bit of a wing with that. And then we're gonna blend that out. We're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And hopefully make them match. I am a novice at this after all. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's fun. This is something that I have learned about doing this YouTube channel is playing with makeup is fun. And I am having a lot of fun playing with makeup with you guys. So as you can see here, there is a little bit of fallout I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that out. In the pan, this looks like a deeper plum, but I can see why they call it cocoa. It's definitely like a plummy brown. All right, so now with the other side of my flat brush, we're gonna go into this shade, which is rose quartz. I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of my eye. And this one seems to be a little bit more glittery. That's what we were looking for. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. I know I said I was gonna put it on the inner portion, but inspiration has just struck me. So I'm gonna put that on the middle of my eye and we're gonna go into the gold glitter for the corner. We are being bold today. So this is definitely glittery, shimmery, definitely what I was looking for the cocoa one to be. I think that one's more a metallic while this one is a glitter. Still pretty though. Since this is going on the middle portion, I'm interested to see how it applies with my fingers. So on the other eye, we're gonna go into that. And it feels super buttery. And I don't know why glitters go on better with fingers, but they do, they just do. Oh, I'm really loving how that's looking. All right, we're gonna go back in and do the same thing to the other eye so it matches. 
just like that. I think that's looking great. So now for the inner corner, we're gonna go in with this shade here. According to the card, this shade is called Candlelight. We're gonna go in with our shader brush, I think. All right, everybody, so we've had a little bit of technical difficulty. I just realized that in the middle of putting on the eyeshadow look that my camera cut out. So hopefully I have alleviated the problem as to what happened. So I have put that shimmery gold shadow right here called Candlelight onto the inner corner here, and I'm really loving how that looks. Then I also went on to put on this primer. So this is something that I've been hearing a lot of YouTubers talk about. I wasn't gonna take off the makeup and go back in again, so I'm just gonna tell you what I did. This is the Kali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. And I really like how this feels. I do not like the smell of it. It's like baby powder that's off a little bit, but I do love what it did for my pores. So I have enlarged pores on my nose and my T-zone and up in here. And I've been looking for something to get rid of the pores or blur the pores or something to that. And I found a couple products that we're gonna be using today that I've already used. So this is one of them, and this actually works really well. I'm really excited for this. And then I went in to use this foundation. This is the Kat Von D, or the KVD as they're called now, Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And if you guys watched my first video, this is very akin to the CoverGirl that I used to use back in the day. I'll link that video right here, so if you haven't seen it, you can go back and see my first video ever. It's really a hoot. So it looks like this. I have used this already, and I do love what it does for me. Usually I go in and I use just a wet, flat, round sponge with it. But today we actually went in with my beauty blender and I'm liking the coverage except for what's on my nose. I always end up putting too much on my nose. But between this and the primer, it definitely has blurred my pores. So that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. One thing I meant to do when I started putting on my base was to use this guy. So I got this set from Sephora, which included one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps, two of their balms, and one of the lipstick. That's the holiday set that's on sale right now. It's an $84 value. You get all four of these for $39. So I picked those up. Wanted to try the Lip Plumper, so we're gonna pop that on right now. And this is in the shade Cherry Blossom. So these do click up so that you can get the product. And I've tried a sample of one of these already and they're super creamy and I love them but I haven't tried the limp plumper yet so we're gonna see if that actually plumps today oh and this one's not as creamy maybe because it's the first use and as I'm putting that on it's just a sheer wash of color but it's supposed to plump the lips so we'll see if that actually does that so next I'm gonna go into concealer and you guys know what a hard time I have with concealers oh that's tingly that's tingly but I had to pick up the new Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. I have this in the shade Butter Croissant. So one of the things I think I was doing wrong is I have been using a caffeine oil on my under eyes in the morning to wake them up. And I think that's having a problem mixing with some of the concealers I'm using. That coupled with trying to use a brush and just less concealer has done a little bit better for my under eyes, but I still haven't found a concealer that I really love better than the Smashbox plus Becca under eye corrector. I don't really consider that a concealer, but to me it is. We're gonna try this today though and see what this is like. So this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. Um, we're just gonna pop this on gonna use a little bit under each eye. I probably still tend to use too much. And then we're gonna pop this on the forehead here, down the nose, Cupid's bow, and then on the chin. And we're gonna go in and blend that out. I think one of the other things I have been doing wrong is I haven't been letting the concealer sit under my eyes 
for a long enough period of time. I've seen some YouTubers do that. So I'm ready to try anything to make sure I don't look like the Crypt Keeper. I have creepy skin under my eyes though. It might just be what it is. All right, so I'm gonna try one eye with the Beauty Blender, the other eye with the brush and see what happens. So I'm just patting that out with my Beauty Blender. It is dampened. Bringing that up, clean up the line up here with the eyeshadow, although I did a pretty good job with that, not getting it everywhere. I'm just gonna say I was super excited for that. I say that a lot in my videos. I'm trying to get away from that. Okay, so that blended out pretty well. Again, my under eyes are crepey, so I might not be able to find a concealer that doesn't stick in those lines and in that crepe. The one thing I would like to not have happen is it seems like I don't blend well enough because of the crepiness. And then like the concealer changes color because it's not completely blended. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I have insane dark circles. And I'm not sure that this is covering it well enough. All right, so we're gonna go into the other eye with a concealer brush and see if that works any better. The brush is supposed to give you more coverage than the sponge does because the sponge soaks up some of the product, which sometimes I feel like maybe that's what I need with my concealer because I think I just put way too much on. I've seen a lot of YouTubers just smear it on underneath. I'm like, you all are all so young and don't have the creepiness yet. Yeah, so comparing them, I don't really like how this applies with the brush, so we're gonna go in with the sponge. And when in doubt, use a finger. Okay, I think that's pretty well blended. Not sure what I, how I feel about the coverage of it though. I feel like I can still see my dark circles, but that just might be me. All right, we are gonna go in with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Mist Setting Spray all over the face to set the foundation. Let me shake this up. And let that dry down. And as that's almost drying down, I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and just tap that in, which helps with longevity. I'm learning so much, guys. Now, normally I would go in with setting powder at this point, but we're gonna try something new and different that I've seen on other videos, and we're gonna see if that works any better. Which means it's time for bronzer. So I also picked this up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is kind of like a mini haul with as well as a get rid get ready with me video. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. And I have not tried a Tarte bronzer yet. I'm really loving Tarte products though. So here's hoping. And I could not help the packaging. I mean, would you look at this guys? Again, this was half off. So I decided I was going to try it. It has a magnetic enclosure little mirror and then this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go in with my bronzing contour brush and we're gonna contour with this. I'm gonna put this in the hollows of my cheeks. And first impression, I'm liking the color. I'm liking how it goes on. I'm liking how it's blending. I'm liking it. I don't think I found something from Tarte that I don't like. And this definitely works with my skin tone. It's not really emphasizing my texture too, too much. Even though technically summer is over, I still want to be bronzy. I'm also gonna take an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put this down the sides of my nose for contour as well. I'm really loving how that looks on me. I've been doing that a lot lately and it really chisels out the nose. Next, I picked up one of these MAC blushes from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Now, I have one MAC blush. It was from the Stranger Things collection. I'd never tried a MAC blush before, and it stays on my cheeks all day. As you guys know, my cheeks tend to eat blush. 
So I tried that. I really love that. A little goes a long way. So I'm going to have it forever. This is the MAC Mineralize blush though. And this is in the shade Happy Go Rosy. So I've never tried the Mineralize formula before. And that is what the blush looks like. Feeling it. Oh, it feels really creamy. I like that. I'm really liking that. So this is what the shade looks like. I'm going to pop that on my cheeks. I'm learned from the other MAC blush. Two dabs will do you. So we're going to see. Oh, yeah, two dabs definitely do you. Oh, and I'm loving this color. Oh, okay. Next time they have a sale, I'm definitely going to pick up another one. I'm a blush whore. I have more blushes than anything else in my collection aside from eyeshadows because you get so many in a palette, I feel like. And just like the other MAC blush, she is pigmented. Pop some on the tip of my nose. Give that sunburnt look. Even though it's fall, I still like that look. So it's not a cream. It's definitely a powder. But mineral products are supposed to stay on your skin better. But the other MAC blush that I have, it stays really well. So the Maracuja Juicy, I definitely still feel the tingles on my lips. I don't know if my lips are any plumper or not. You guys be the judge of that. Put in the comments down below, what do you think? Are my lips a little bit plumper now? All right, so that's looking good for the blush right there. Next, we're gonna go in with highlight. And again, another new to me product, also from the 21 Days of Beauty. This is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter. Oh, I definitely love the packaging. It's that gold packaging that gets fingerprints all over it. And the shade Ice. And take my highlighting brush. Just do a little bit. Oh, bitch is pigmented. Wow, that's really pigmented. But I like how it looks. Holy, a little goes a long way. I feel like highlighters I will own forever. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. And put that underneath the brow bone. Since we are all glittery today anyways. Be bold, we're being bold. I like it. Pop that into the inner corner. But I think this is definitely a good color for me. I'm sparkly. I'm a Twilight vampire. All right, so next we're gonna go in and I'm gonna set my under eyes. And this is something I have been dying to get my hands on. It has been out of stock at Sephora and I finally got my hands on it. This is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. Let's open this up and see what this looks like. Now they didn't have the clear shade which is what I was looking for. But because I have olivey skin, I'm hoping the color that I got works. So again, this is what the packaging looks like. This is also from Sephora, not from Ulta, but this is actually a really affordable brand. I think this was $18. So this is their Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder, and I got it in Brilliance Banana because the translucent one they did not have any more of. So I was hoping that because of my dark eye circles and yellow usually corrects that anyways, and my olivey skin tone that the banana would work for me. So this is to be used underneath my eyes. I need to get one of those velour puffs. I didn't know if this one was gonna come with it, but that's something that I definitely want to try. So we're gonna get some of that on my brush and we're gonna go in and set the under eyes. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have not experienced this. I've heard about it before. I have not experienced it. That when you put the right powder on underneath the eyes, that it just blurs it. I've tried the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, which blurs on my face, does not work underneath my eyes, but that's a loose setting powder. I've tried a couple of the NYX ones. Uh, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop had been one of my favorites. And then the Ultra HD one. But this. I do, I, I see a difference. I definitely see a difference. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I don't wanna be too, too powdery. But 
yeah. I think I definitely see a difference. We're gonna come back at the end of the video and see. And do that to the other eye. And it looks like the banana color is gonna work for me. Like that. All right, we'll see how that looks if I end up looking like the Crypt Keeper, but I think it, it's smoothing my lines just a little bit, and any little bit will help. I will take it. As long as I'm not looking like the Crypt Keeper, that's what the goal is. All right, now we're gonna go back into our eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna do some boldness on the lower lash line for once today, cause I'm not going to work today. So we're gonna go into that candlelight shade just on an angle brush and I'm gonna put that underneath my eye in that first third, just like that. Then I'm gonna go in with another angle brush and we're gonna go back into that sparkly shade right down here, that rose quartz shade and do the middle. And then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into that deepest shade, that cocoa shade, I'm gonna connect it up to the outer corner. All right, so unfortunately today is the day of technical difficulties. So my camera cut out again. I don't think I have enough space on my card. I've offloaded some stuff, so hopefully that's alleviated the problem for the rest of the video. What I did do is I went in and I put eyeliner on. The eyeliner that I used is from R.A.M. Beauty. Also got this from the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty Sale for half off. And this is their Kohl eyeliner pencil in the shade Midnight Black. So it looks like this. It is a twist up. If you twist it up too far, it's not good. I have been using it already. It usually stays put where I put it. It's not as shiny black as like a liquid liner is, like my NYX Epic Wear liner, which I would prefer that for this kind of look. And I did put it on my waterline today to see how that stays. And then I went in with a new to me mascara and this is new out on the market too. This is by Tarte. This is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. And I wanted to see if this could compete with my Man Eater. And I put it on already on my top and my bottom lashes. And I do have to say, I do like it a lot. It creates tubes around your lashes to give you a thicker, fuller look. I think I like the Man Eater better. But with that being said, it actually went on my lower lashes and made my lower lashes look amazing, which I usually have a problem with. So this might be my new lower lash mascara and the Man Eater goes on top. I'm gonna have to do a side by side, head to head with the two and see which one I like better. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with a new to me setting powder. This is the cutest packaging that I have ever seen. This is by Beauty Bakery. This is their flower setting powder. And I have it in the shade Cassava, which is a yellowy one, because that is the only one that I could get my hands on without having to order it from the website. I love this packaging, it's so cute. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tap a little into my cap. We're gonna use it to set the face. Not the under eyes, just the face. So usually I have set my face after I do foundation, but I'm seeing some YouTubers do it after they put all of like their bronze or their blush, their highlighter on. So I figured I'd try it. What's the worst that could happen? And I do, I like this. It's really finely melted. I wonder if this would be good for under the eyes too since it's a yellow color and it's finely milled. We'll have to try that at some point. But definitely like how that's looking. I really don't know how much I'll be using a lot of loose powder now that it's not as hot outside. Fall is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. So that means maybe I won't be sweating as much. All right, I'm liking how that looks. Lastly, we're gonna go into the lip. So we are going to try the Juicy Lip Lipstick from Tarte that I got in that package that I showed you earlier. And I'm actually gonna line my lips. I don't know how plumping my lips are from the Maracuja Plump. I do like it though. I might use that just as a sheer wash of color. So going in with this, 
This is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner, and it is in the shade Nude. So we're gonna go in and line my lips with this. And I like this one as opposed to the pencil, because the pencil does not come off on me very easily. This is very creamy though, it comes off very easily. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Maracuja Lipstick by Tarte, and this is in the shade Rose. So this is a twist up instead of a pump up. And that's what the shade looks like. Pop this here. Oh, I like that for fall. That's pretty. I like that. Mm, that that's going to be good. I do feel like something is missing though. A little hint of glitter or gloss. So we're going to go in with a Maybelline Lifter Gloss that I picked up from Ulta during the 21 days of beauty sale. And this is in the shade Ruby. And this swatches like that. So I think that'll look nice on top. And I'm right, it does. Just to meld everything all together. Mm, I'm liking how that looks. And I really love how the Maybelline Lifter Glosses feel has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's supposed to really help the lines on your lips, which I've been using hyaluronic acid on my face, and I do have to say, it definitely makes my face feel as soft as a baby's bottom. So we're gonna go back in with that e.l.f. setting spray and set the face. We're gonna let that dry down, and once it's almost dry, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just push that in like that. One thing we did forget to do was tame the brows today, so I'm gonna go in with the Ulta Clear Brow Gel and see how that does. This is a teeny tiny little wand like that, but I've been using it a little bit, and I do have to say, I do like it. Uh, I don't know if the hold on it is as good as the e.l.f. one that I've been using, or the clear mascara that I use. But I definitely like the little wand for the brows. Right, I'm really liking how this look came out today. I'm really happy with everything that I've purchased. Things that I'm really in love with, I'm really in love with this little rock Marikai palette. I really love the look that we created today. Like I said, it definitely is a basic bitch palette, but I really do love the fact that you can use up a shade and then you can replace it with either the same shade or a different one. So it is the palette that never ends. Even though you guys didn't get to see it, I really do like how the Cali Ray went on and feels and how it really smoothed out my pores. That along with the KVD Good Apple, I really do feel like that helped blur the pores. I do like the MAC blush, but I had a feeling that I was gonna like that anyways. The highlight from Jaclyn Hill is definitely highly pigmented. I definitely like that one. The setting powder from LYS. We're gonna see how that does throughout the day, but my first impressions of it, I'm not looking like the Crypt Keeper, so that paired with the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer, that might be a new favorite combination of mine. Definitely do like the Tarte Tubing Mascara. Do I like it better than the Man Eater? That remains to be seen. Like I said, I think I'm gonna have to do a head-to-head -head video with them and see if this becomes my new Holy Grail. And then I do, I like the flower setting powder. I like how it feels on the skin. It's soft and silky and finely milled and goes on really well. So that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed our magical makeup journey today. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content. I'm shooting for about once a week. Uh, pretty soon I'm coming up on another vacation, which I'm doing a staycation. So I'm hoping maybe that'll help me boost my production just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending some time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.